Hey friends, welcome to Curly's Corner, and yes, you saw correct, I plan on completely deleting my current valley builds and starting completely from scratch. Um, I currently have 117 hours in this game, I've been playing on and off since release, um, and so today we are going to tour my valley before I completely destroy everything. So this is um, my plaza build. My I decided to put my Disney Dream Park here. So a lot of the builds in my valley are from YouTube tutorials. They are not my original work. So if you recognize some of these builds, please tag the creator below as I don't remember all of them that I used. The other side of my plaza is blank there's just buildings here i did not decorate i wanted to make this like a city theme park but it did not help me yet um we are going to go down to my meadow so this is where i put mickey and minnie's houses um it was supposed to be like a garden themed neighborhood this is where I'm supposed to put all of my crops. Um, as you can see, I haven't played in a while, so there it is blank. But these are the crop spots. Um, another thing I learned from YouTube is make sure that you can access all of your mining spots throughout your builds. So you will see that as a theme in my builds also. This, um, I wanted all of my trees and bushes in one place, so this is where I put them all. Um, continuing with the garden theme in this area. Um, now we are going to head down to my Glade of Trust. Um, if you have made it this far, thank you for watching and staying to enjoy the video. Please like and subscribe to continue on with my journey of rebuilding my village. Um, I will be trying to upload speed builds and um, different videos throughout my journey. So if you plan on sticking around, please like and subscribe. Um, this house is the only thing in this biome that I built. Um, it's just my cottage house. It's where my storage is. So I wanted it to look pretty since I come over here a lot. We are now going to teleport over to Sunlit Plateau. All right, this is my Sunlit Plateau. Um, I did start my Mirabelle builds over here, but as you can see, I, can, I did not finish it. And the rest is blank, pretty much. Just random stuff here. Um, the other side of my sunlit plateau is jungle themed. Um, I wanted to put pride rock over here and instead of the, you know, blankness like in the movie, I wanted to make sure that it was a pretty lush jungle. And the last area over here is Buzz's a camper van. I made him a little camping area over here. Yes. Citizens. Hello, Stitch. And then you can see I can still access my mining spot. The next biome we're going to is the Forgotten Land. As you can see, it is blank up here. Um, you will see that as a theme throughout my valley. Um, when I, while I was unlocking each biome. I was deleting all the trees and everything there so I can have a blank slate. I chose the Nightmare Castle to come over to this build, this biome. Here is my tree farm, some crop, crops and bushes and trees, and then I have a goofy stall here. So another thing that I need to do um, while I'm continuing to play this is really farm for money and uh, continue all of my friendship quests. I did get a rift in time also, so we'll be going through that story. 
I also stream on Twitch if you are interested in watching me continue my journey um, step by step at farming and uh, story quests and all that good kind of stuff. We do have a good time over there um, and the link will be down below. Right now we are going over to the Forest of Valor. I put my um, goofy saw at the entrance so I could have easy access. I did put this cottage here. I don't remember the name of this house skin. But that's there with some crop pots behind the stall. This is El Serene's build. It is not exact, but I did use her framework. Um, we did, I did this build when these uh, border paths first came out. I didn't know really what to do with them. So um, her video was the first one that I saw that used them in an interesting way. So I did um, copy her build. Got some pumpkins here that I need to harvest. Um, so one of the reasons why I am completely redoing my village is I want all of my builds to be my original work. Um, like I said, I did use a lot of YouTube creators tutorials and builds that they did. So. Um, I really want everything to be my original build. Um, so this is the frozen castle. I can still access both mining spots here. And then this other side, I kind of was experimenting with um, different placements of items and things like that over here. So I kind of just made it into a winter wonderland kind of carnival type place or market as I don't know what you want to call it so I have the ice skating area over here I have a little campfire area over here if I had the hot chocolate stall this is where it would be <laughs> all right and we are going to toil apart over to the beach now Okay, to be honest guys, the beach has been quite a dumping ground for me. I just put things here that I don't know what to do with, or there's probably still things here from when you had to, you know, place the 10 items in the biomes, things like that. I haven't decorated this area at all. This is where Stitch's house is. I kind of started one of my tutorials on here, but didn't finish it. So if you recognize this, please tag the creator below. And I believe that is it. All of the biomes in this valley. I have not started to decorate Eternity Owl yet, of course. Um, if you made it this far, I thank you for watching. Um, I appreciate you. Please don't forget to like and subscribe below as this is my first video. So I'm sorry if I'm a little not well spoken right now, but I will get better. I promise. Um, if you want to follow along, please don't forget to follow me on Twitch and like and subscribe this video to get future updates. All right. That is it for now. I'll see you guys on another video. Bye bye.